I'm making change out of things that make no sense. <laughs> this time on Vice From A Heart, I've decided to make it more interesting for you by doing little drawings of your questions and or my answers to them. Uh, so if your question got picked, you are in for a treat. Uh, but if you're just words, meow 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 meow. This is the person you want to take advice from. Boom. So today's first question comes from Jessica Moeller. I hang out with two dudes pretty much nonstop. The thing is, I kind of have a thing for both of them. I don't know which one to choose slash make a move towards. Help. <clears throat> well, as Nicki Minaj might say, double the pleasure. Double the fuuuuck. This reminds me of when Sailor Moon loved both Tuxedo Mask and the Moonlight Knight. Um, God, that was a good show. Question two comes from Stephanie Corrigan. I've been single boy choice for several years now, and I think I'm ready to date, but I'm having inner conflict over stupid things like, I forgot how to kiss, or how to flirt. How do I squelch this needless panic? Uh, don't squelch it, man. People are absolutely terrifying. I mean, have you ever tried to talk to a person? People are bigger on the inside. Who knows what's going on in their heads? Meow! We're fucked. I also have been single for many years, uh, you know, by choice. And uh, that just means that we have no concept of dating or romance any longer. Uh, last time I went on a date, I ended it like this. Who shakes and waves when somebody's sitting in a car with you? The next question comes from Lori Coleman. My daughter is 11 and wants advice about going through puberty. Help! Oh man, puberty sucks. Uh, here's a picture of me in puberty. Aren't the beanies I wear now way cuter? Another note on puberty, briefly. Uh, make sure you have friends around who can laugh with you through the process. Nothing heals like a buddy that'll point at your face and go, what is happening? Char Holiday asks, I've been thinking about getting a tattoo for a long time now to commemorate my amazing grandmother. However, my mother would definitely not approve. Should I get it anyway? Okay, so Char, this is a tough call because I know absolutely nothing about your relationship with your mother. Uh, but much unlike this drawing rendition I did uh, where your grandma is featured as a ghost figure coming out of her own grave, I say if you get your tattoo done tastefully and with respect, she might eventually come around. Or chloroform your mother, give her a prison style tattoo, and when she wakes up the next day, accuse her of hiding it from you for years. It is truly a flawless plan. Michael Bloom asks, when growing out one's mustache, how do you know when to stop? Michael, let me ask you this. Who's in control? And lastly, our question comes from Lisa Smith. What advice would you give to someone who wants to make videos for YouTube, but is really shy in front of a camera? Oh, Lisa, the answer is obvious. Hello! Ah! That's it for this Thursday, everybody. Uh, tube in next week for more things from me. I'll be doing My Drunk Kitchen onion rings. Do you want spoilers? I don't even know. Um, and also check out Your Heart Dough for uh, other content. For instance, this beautiful song. And you know that don't mean to say goodbye too soon And you know that I don't mean to say goodbye too soon Yay for things! Mwah!